This is Max's studio. This is where Max sits. These are Max's sticky notes. His good ideas and his bad ideas. This is Max Makewell, the artist. Max asked me to do the narration because he thinks accents are cool. Yeah, he's got a great voice. In 1983, Max was born in the sleepy town called Locust Valley, which was 45 minutes by train to New York City. Nothing was really going on there, um, but it was nice. Now in the street there is violence, and he wasn't the only one in his family to pursue the arts. This is Max's mother sculpting a bust of her father. This is Max's mother's father sculpting a bust of his father. This is Max's mother's father's father sculpting big stuff in Europe in 1880. The person who had the biggest influence was definitely my grandfather. You know, I'd go to his house every weekend and, and I'd be sculpting with him and I was like five and seven and it was just, that was basically the, the experience growing up and that was normal. This is one of Max's first drawings. This is another drawing Max did when he got a bit older. And these are some of his other early works. Max is most famous for his Rorschach lightbox installations. I chose the Rorschach paintings because it's something that I could do a million times and never get bored of. He's only done 1,000 and moved on. Max's work has been called transcendent, kaleidoscopic, thoughtful, and colorblind. The Rorschachs were an incredible expression on the surface level, and then past that, it became very interesting to develop work that was a bit, has a bit more depth in terms of its story, its narrative, its concept, what it stands for. Max has collectors sprinkled across the globe. Miami, San Francisco, New York, London, Hong Kong, St. Petersburg, and Berlin, to name a few. And that is what you need to know about Max Makewell, the artist. There's been times in my life when I've decided not to be an artist because artist was always default. But at the end, art was always just the core. This was the calling. And it was something that was essentially who I am. 